Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we're checking out Prologue Museum Heist, where we pick up two Sly Masks for Sly Cooper Thieves in Time. All right, we'll go to a quick cutscene, get oriented. It's been a while, and then we'll return. I should probably just start at the we. The name Stop. Sly, Sly Cooper, right. and I'm a thief from a long line of thieves. In fact, thieving is the family business, and business was good. Although, until recently, I considered myself retired. Having hung up my mask and cane, I was enjoying life on the other side of the law. In the company of a certain lovely Interpol agent named Carmelita Fox. She and I had a history, which generally involved her trying to lock me up. So, I should mention our current situation was only possible because she thought I had amnesia. I didn't. It was great to finally enjoy each other's company without a shock pistol being involved, and we quickly put the past behind us. But as time went on, the old itch came back, and I knew I needed to pull a heist. I should also mention that as a master thief, I only steal from other thieves. So it took me a while, but I finally found what I was looking for. My target was an upstart art mogul, a real hotshot collector. He seemed respectable, had even opened a new museum. But I could smell a rat. Reliable sources told me he was dealing in black market antiques worth millions. So I felt he should share the wealth. I was working on a plan when one night, as if on cue, Bentley showed up. Bentley was the brains of our operation, the mastermind. We grew up in the same orphanage where we bonded over stealing cookies, our very first heist. And we've been best friends and partners ever since. We hadn't seen each other for a while, but I knew immediately that something was up. Bentley had been enjoying his time off too, building a new lab from scratch with his girlfriend and fellow tech whiz, Penelope. She had joined the team on our last caper, and the two of them had really hit it off. Apparently, they just finished work on a top secret project when Penelope had simply vanished. Bentley was worried sick. He searched frantically but found nothing. Then, he noticed something that completely stunned him. In his spare time, Bentley had been researching the Bevious Raccoonus, the Master Thief's handbook passed down through the Cooper family for generations. Its pages overflowing with the exploits and secret techniques of my esteemed ancestors. Only now, those pages weren't so full. In fact, they were disappearing right before Bentley's eyes. Realizing there was no time to waste, he gathered his gear and raced off to Paris. The first thing Bentley did was track down Murray, the third in our trio. Murray was our enforcer, the muscle, and the guy who'd eaten all the cookies we stole back in our orphanage days. Through the years, the three of us had become an unbeatable team, and we were more like a family now than a gang. Murray had been living his dream on the pro driving circuit, where his van had become famous, or rather infamous, for all the crashes he'd caused. Eventually, he was unable to find a sponsor due to his high insurance premiums, and he moved into Demolition Derby where he remained undefeated. When Bentley showed up, however, Murray dropped everything to help out. Especially when Bentley explained that his van was the key to the whole plan. With Carmelita distracted by a new assignment, I took the opportunity to slip away and met up with the guys at our old Paris hideout. Bentley launched into one of his elaborate presentations and I saw the whole scary picture. Someone, or something, was literally erasing Cooper history. Then, to our amazement, Bentley revealed that he already had the solution. Time travel. It turns out his top secret project was constructing a time machine. And now, he modified the design to fit into Murray's van. We were going to travel back in time, stop those responsible, and fix the damage they'd done. Bentley explained the only catch was that in order to travel to a particular time, the machine required an object from that era. We knew from the changes to the Thievius Raccoonus that our first stop was feudal Japan. So here we were, about to steal a priceless 17th century samurai dagger from the same museum I'd been casing. Funny how things work out sometimes.
Okay, you both remember the plan, right? Of course! My mind is like a steel cap! Uh, that's trap, big guy. And everybody relax. We've been over it a million times. What could possibly go wrong? Famous last words. Look, we're only gonna get one shot at this, so we can't mess up. All right, no messing up allowed. Now stop worrying. This is gonna be a piece of cake. I'll see you both inside. Now let's get going. <laughs> All right, so here we are, back in action. So for those of you who don't know the whole story yet, uh, well, first of all, let me just say that this this is the prologue. This is just to get you oriented with all the three characters, kind of a remembrance for some, while it's a uh, instructional video and tutorial for others, uh, for those of you who didn't play on the PS2. But all right, let's go back a little bit. All right, so here we go. Basically, this is the first rendition of this game that's not made by Sucker Punch. Uh, this was taken on by a new developer. For those of you who followed Sly all the way through, this is also the first PS3 true installment. All the other ones were ports, just redone from the PS2 version. So, uh, Sanzaru Games, Inc. is actually really responsible for this. And um, did a little research. Turns out these guys actually started this game without the permission of Sony or Sucker Punch and started building it because they were fans. They knew that Sucker Punch had moved on and that it didn't look likely that they were going to be doing another Sly game. So they started building a model and created something that was so awesome when they showed it to Sony, Sony couldn't say no. So I'm not exactly sure how it all went from there. If Sony said, here's a giant check, get character voices back, or how it all went, uh, but that would be a good story to hear from. So if you're out there and you're listening there, San Zaru Games, uh, we'd love to get some sort of an exclusive uh, just get caught up. I'm sure that information is already available out on the web somewhere. Uh, but hey, if you'd like to share your story with Happy Thumbs Gaming, we would like to share it with our fans. So regardless, uh, we're just smacking everything in sight, kind of like uh, me in the Lego games. I cannot just, I can't pass it up. I have to smash things and pick up and collect. So I'm going to go ahead and collect as much money as possible along the way. So far, we haven't missed anything. In the prologue here, there is only two Sly masks. They are hidden items that uh, allow you to, uh, I guess, unlock things, I guess is the easiest way to say it. Uh, and the money is also uh, for buying other unlockable items. And then we also have treasure chests, which uh, begin in the next level. And there's usually one per level. I don't think there's any more than that. But I'm not all the way through the game yet, so that could be incorrect information. And uh, there's also bottles to be found on each episode area, as well as treasure chests. So there's, I, I may have said treasure chests a minute ago, but I meant safe. There's one safe per level, and there's multiple treasure chests. So those all begin on the next area. Now, one important factor here for this level and all the levels here on out, there is a trophy for opening your map in each episode area. So every time you get to a new area with a new character, make sure you hit the select button and view your map. Uh-oh. Looks like someone's put on a few pounds in their off-season. So anyways, uh, we are just kind of making our way through here. We are actually almost to the first Sly Mask. So again, that's there's only two collectibles in the prologue. And uh, because there are so many... Uh, it's going to take us a little while to get all these videos out. So if uh, you're watching these right around the release of this game, and uh, bear with us, but we promise we're going to bring you the highest quality, uh, easiest, most professional walkthrough that we can possibly do. In fact, not to, uh, not to get you guys going on something that's uh, premature, but uh, there may or may not be some uh, graphic illustrations with locations coming. So... Uh, as you may know, there's no official strategy guide available, so there's no maps, any kind of reference points or anything like that. So uh, we may try to help with that. We'll see. We're doing an experiment. All right, so there you go. You can see I opened up my map just to verify that I've opened it up in this area. That's all it takes is a quick... All right, now once you smash everything, the story wants you to hop on that little uh, air vent there and then continue up, but you're actually going to jump up. Well, I fall like a noob. 
but uh, we're actually going to jump up once we get up there and climb over that building and avoid the spotlights and we'll find our first slime mask. So I'll, I'll be completely honest. Um, I, I made a mistake in my first way through and uh, I did not open the map up as Murray. So uh, I'm a little extra careful by opening the maps up, but here you can see I'm on the top of the building showing you the map because this is where the first slime mask is. So I didn't actually, uh, I'd already got the trophy for this. So I kind of dubbed it in. I don't know if you can even tell or not, but uh, I dubbed it in there and we'll just move along now. So that was kind of a bummer deal. It's the only thing that I couldn't revert back to was the trophy status, which that was another thing. I had a major issue sinking trophies. So here's our first look of the status bar there. You can see there was no anything available other than the two masks, and we do have one of two now. So we'll just keep progressing through the story, as always, smashing everything in our way. And, uh, you know, if anybody's been following the LEGO series, uh, people have been asking about the LEGO stud horror T-shirts. Uh, we will not be able to display Lego on there due to some copyright issues. However, uh, we are looking into providing some sort of a uh, stud whore representation. So they don't have a lock on that. That's something that uh, we created. So regardless, well, I guess we didn't create the stud whore, but the reference in the way that we are doing, yes. All right, so back to uh, PG from the PG-13 there. We're going to use the key that we found from pickpocketing that guy back there, that nice young gentleman. And then we will, before we can go in, we actually have to switch over to Bentley. And this is always fun. It's one of the great aspects I love about this game is that, uh, you know, games that give you choice. So if you can be this character or that character or whatever, and you have to do things like, like Lego example. Um, they uh, often, me, I, I'm one that kind of just picks with, you know, picks something that works and I stick with it. So uh, this kind of forces the user, including myself, to branch out and use other characters. I mean, in, in this case, just like any other game, you know, I do use who I have to use to make it work. But, uh, you know, if I don't need to, then I don't usually. So right now I would generally be sly, but hey, how am I going to get across that? with Sly, so I very much like and appreciate the fact that they force you into these easy sequences, um, you know, that do different things. Oh, yeah. All right, so this is a little sketch here. I don't know how many of you had uh, trouble with that jump, but it's uh, definitely one you got to time just right. And I got a question for you guys. I have no idea, but, oh, we'll go back to that. Before you advance through that second jump across the uh, water there, after the big jump and it teaches you how to do your thruster, you're going to slide back in there and grab that sly mask. I don't know if you saw it or not, but we grabbed that. We grabbed it. Happy times, happy times. But, uh, yeah, so back to my question. When I spin and take out, like, the rats down here, for example, there's a little icon that shows up next to them, and it's red, and it almost appears to be bad, whereas if I hit a good guy... Or, I guess, when I hit a bad guy and take him out, it shows kind of a green face, like uh, like it's a good thing. So, I don't know if that's good or bad. Either way, I get money, so it doesn't seem to take anything away. But I didn't know if there was, like, some secret uh, meter measuring your good and badness, you know. I mean, I guess that's kind of reminiscent of infamous, you know, like a meter of doing good and doing bad. Which, again, this is not made by Sucker Punch, so... Uh, wouldn't expect to see any kind of a connection there, but there's lots of references in the trophies if you guys look uh, References to modern warfare all sorts of things so kind of Easter egg things whether I guess they meant to or not at least that's what it appears to be so All right, we can shout so you can see there I got a 1% trophy which uh, that was displaying at the beginning of this too, but I cut it out All right love the hack and sec sequences uh, these sections are always fun and you can shout, taking them all out. I very much like, uh, you know, twin stick arcade style shooters. Had a lot of fun. Oh, BHU and I had a big war going on for a while when Super Stardust HD came out. Uh, most of you probably know, or maybe not, that uh, Super Stardust HD was actually the first game with trophies to appear on the PlayStation 3. And uh, at the time, you know, nobody cared about trophies. And uh, it was just kind of funny because... Boo got out to a good start and got all the way, and there was only one trophy he couldn't get, and it was pretty difficult, and we spent, I don't know, weeks, months, maybe, probably months, playing that same mode, trying to get it over and over and over again, 
and I finally got it. I don't know if you ever got it or not. I'll have to ask him. Boo, if you're listening, feel free to comment and defend yourself. <laughs> All right, so we got that hack complete, which actually will uh, end the Bentley sequence and open the gates for Murray. Big old pink and uh, destructive Murray. We like us some Murray. So I got okay. So make sure you open your map on all three areas if you haven't already. I don't know. There is a select mission, so you can go back and you know do it. But it's obviously if you don't have to go back and do it just to hit the map open, you know, especially playing all three areas just to get to Murray. If you forgot Murray, because that's what I did the first time. Like a smart guy, didn't open the map as playing as Murray, so I had to come back and play it. Regardless, so we're smacking everybody around. Collect everything you can. Probably could have sped this up a little bit more, but hey, whatever. It's all good, right? Like I said, we will be bringing more videos if they're not already up. And uh, we appreciate your patience because uh, there is uh, lots of stuff to find. And we want to make sure we do it in a methodical order that makes sense. It's kind of like all of our Lego games and... All the stuff. Jeremy's doing uh, Dead Space 3 right now as I'm recording this. And there's a ton of collectibles, it's my understanding of that. So uh, He's putting out those. I'm putting out these. We're just making it happen. We've also made some changes to our website. Added some poll features. we uh, we've got some new stuff coming too later this week. Uh, should be seeing a new game break for February as well. Ooh, I time-dated this video. Yep. February video. Wah, wah. Probably like January of like 2025 when you're watching this. No, that'd be pretty cool. All right, so once you smash every guy in sight, it'll open the gate and you'll move in. You know, we already got both the slime masks, so really there's not a whole lot uh, other than just entertainment value left in this video. I'd like to think I'm entertaining. And basically, you probably can't get stuck on any of this stuff. There's uh, a couple of barrels you got to grab here in a second. You got to toss those at two kind of control panel ish type things. And once you blow those two control panels up, you can advance. And that's pretty much going to wrap that up. So, what do you guys think of our new intro? We uh, initially released it on uh, the Dead Space 3 videos because Jeremy beat me to the punch. Because he is a speedy guy. We always love that. Well, the ladies probably don't, but uh, we at Happy Thumbs like that. So, uh, yeah, there you go. We busted those things. Sly can slide in, and we steal that, and bingo! Busted! Yeah, you didn't think we'd get away, huh? That was a little too easy. Carmelita. See you later. Hey, what up, Don G? Shout out to Don Jizzle. All right, so pew, 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 slides out. He's going to go ahead and hop in with uh, Mere. We're going to smash everything in sight. This is a cool little scene. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any direction here. You just kind of smash everything, but you do have control of the van, so it makes you feel like you're driving, but really you don't. You hop the wall on the last little cut scene. Not to complain, but we're kind of trapped here. Relax, Sly. Just put the dagger in the receptacle. Perfect. Isotopic decay calibrated. Adjusting fusion synthesis. Anytime you want to punch it, Murray. Don't do it. No. No. No, go ahead and do it. Push button. Do it. Slow down, Murray. I never do. That is too cool for us. Oh, yeah. Bam, bam. All right. What a way to end the prologue, huh? All right, well, that'll go ahead and wrap up Sly Cooper, Thieves in Time, where we covered the prologue museum heist and picked up the only two collectibles, the two Sly Masks. So tell us what you think. Tell us if you want more. Tell us if you're even playing this game. This is kind of a, a sleeper game. Feel free to hop on over to uh, Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube, and uh, which is probably where you're watching this. If not, get on over there, subscribe, like us, follow us, do whatever. HappyThumbsGaming.com is also available for your liking pleasure, too. And, uh, yeah, so let us know what's cracking. Till next time. See ya.